Hey guys, it's me Tom. I'll show you another CW replay. We got this one and golems and super witches and wizard. Golem wizards, golems, witches, super wizards. I call it the super go wee wee army. Super go wee wee. Following the sides, <laughs> making the tanky troops in front. The log launcher can reach the X bow from outside here where all these wizards are, so it's like. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's like 15 to 17 tile range, so it's an extremely long range target. Tornado next to Town Hall. The log launcher is still wrecking stuff behind the Town Hall. With a log launcher, it breaks once you reach the town hall regardless if the town hall is still standing or not so take that into consideration <laughs> the inferno was uh, being frozen I think I think the freeze was a bit early it wasn't the best because the because you need freeze to protect the RC, but whatever. There's a bomb tower guarding that inferno, so the witches didn't survive. And then, yeah, we're just overwhelmed. What made it to free stuff? Number one, uh, log launcher and opening up the area at four or five o'clock. Number two, uh, making quad quake in the core again because. With eight quakes, it opened up the whole base, and with these one tile gaps, you, the troops don't have to beat three walls. So there's like no walls. The the army didn't have to break through any walls apart from the quakes. So that's a lot of time saved. I mean, if these walls were closed, then. You pro the troops would have probably broke, had to break through the wall just to get in, but yeah, uh, would with witch with all infernals and single and open layout, you you see, you see witches can be a good army to use. And let's see, it was close at the end, although it was a free start. It was a close at the end, as no all the heroes uh, didn't didn't survive. And yeah, for your information, Log Launcher has about 15 to 17 tile range, so keep that in mind. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, and peace out.